Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about school. I just got back from my second day. It was crazy, cuckoo bananas, like, school is starting again. I'm exhausted. I've been really tired, like, all summer, so I'm going to go to the doctor on Friday. Surprise. Probably too much information. You didn't need to know. Um, just to get things that you don't need to know about out of the way. I'm also ordering a new computer, so hopefully I will be able to get, like, videos up on time and online with music, because I feel so bad about that. <sighs> my life is falling apart. On the good side, I got a letter from my pen pal, who I met actually on my YouTube channel. Look what they sent me! It has a little bat on it! It has a little bat on it! I screamed when I saw it. It made my day like so much better because I had just gotten back from the first day of school. I was so tired, so done with life. And I saw that I was like, yeah. So I gotta write back to them. It's awesome. Love having a pen pal. It's super great. So if you're watching this, yeah. Um, but because I've been at school for the past two days, I figured I should talk about things that might be plaguing alternative kids that I've noticed um, around school lately and you know just things um, so it, I don't know some of this I might be a little bit too abrasive with I've heard I'm abrasive I heard I'm a terrible person I've heard I'm abrasive I've heard I'm like this cocky son of a bitch but you know what sometimes you gotta be um, anyways so if I seemed a little bit too abrasive, that's probably because I've learned to not give a shit about what a lot of people say. Um, and that's basically my one advice, my one biggest piece of advice for alternative kids, especially if you're going into high school. You kind of have to go into it knowing that people are going to be catty. There's going to be some drama. There always is. There's always drama with, with um, high school. So that's a thing. But if you go into it not giving a single flying fuck about what people say to you, and not letting them change you or like try to mold you into um, like what they think and what society thinks that you should like act, how you should look, how you should talk, I don't know, talk to people. If you don't give a shit about that, your life is going to be a hell of a lot better. Let me just put it that way. I've gone through high, most of high school giving just next to zero shits. I mean, sometimes, you know, obviously you have to be like kind of nice to people but you know don't be don't I mean I'm not saying go around being a dick all the time but you know just try to stay true to your individuality you're gonna change a lot in high school you're gonna learn a lot in high school about maybe yourself maybe not so much in class because you know American school systems are just wonderful places but um high school is kind of a place to experiment especially with your style because up until it's about senior year you don't really have to um really worry about that unless you're trying to get a job but that's a different story um i i had some interesting ensembles freshman year i can tell you that it's interesting ensembles senior year i can tell you that already already some interesting ensembles um You've seen both of them <laughs> but I like to think that I've grown as a person through high school and that literally the only the way I've stayed true to myself is really just being myself and that sounds so cheesy I know and it sounds like something that your parents would say be true to yourself but honestly it is some of the best advice I've gotten some of the best advice I can give because people are gonna be your friends regardless of what you look like most i can say pretty much none of my friends are goth i had one goth friend last year but she graduated so it's like i am the last of my kind no i kid um but there really aren't too many alternative kids really at my school who i consider goth i don't really know i don't i don't i haven't met too many of the freshmen if you go to my school if you know me consider yourself goth come find me i'm the one with the weird purple hair um but, you know, this this year has definitely been really different uh, in regards to rules and stuff so far. So I feel, at least for me, um, our principal is kind of screwing everything up, which kind of sucks. But shh, don't say, don't tell anyone I said that. I just don't like the rules. Um, but just being, being who I am, who I was, kind of either made friends or pushed them away. And you know what? Some of those people weren't really, I wasn't really meant to be friends with. And that's okay can't be friends with everyone. 
that's that's you just you can't it's impossible um so if you're really you know really serious or even if you're not really serious if you're just literally it's gonna sound so lame and everyone's gonna be like ew you have no idea what you're talking about but even if it is just a phase um you know, you will have friends that come and go. That's part of high school. So don't beat yourself up too hard, you know, unless there's some sort of horrible blow blow up and it's like, you know, but you can ultimately you, you can't control other people's reactions. You can't control other people's emotions. All you can control is yourself. And if that means you have to somewhat conform to a dress code like me, unfortunately, there are so many clothes I would like to wear, but I, our school just is really shitty about it. Um, you know, if, if there are certain social stigmas that could get you in trouble or like could get you hurt, obviously you're going to have to conform a little bit to that, unfortunately, but I'm not telling you to put yourself in danger and, um, get killed because of the way you look, because I know that happens actually, which is horrifying. So, you know, through high school, it's going to be kind of challenging. I understand that. I get it. I've been there on that <laughs> um but really seriously consider um consider this like a learning experience and just try to stay to what you feel inside this is so sounds so lame i sound like some sort of like yuppie uh like guidance counselor be true to yourself whatever um <laughs> i don't know just i hope everyone's having a good first week or second week or third week i don't really know when people go back to school but you need anything you can always message me on here you can message me on tumblr i've gotten actually quite a few messages it's really sweet um on tumblr so thank you um yeah that's basically it i know this is kind of a longer video than i expected but in regards to high school and being an alternative kid do not give a fuck about anything that any of those conformists say because you know what they cannot extinguish that fabulous dark fire that is in all of our souls the fire of the thousands of punk rockers that have come before us will never be extinguished. <laughs> All right. And on that note, because I'm getting tired, as you can tell, um, I'll see you later and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.